Hi, I'm Katie and welcome to The Wick, a place where we're on a mission to connect the culturally curious and to invite you into a world celebrating visual arts, creativity and everything in between. So what does it look like when machines dream of nature? This is a question that we're going to be exploring today with artist, pioneer and technologist Refik Anadol at his first ever UK institutional show at The Serpentine. Echoes of the Earth Living Archive sees the largest open source AI generative model responding directly to nature. Let's take a look inside. Turkish media artist and pioneer Rafik Anadol has become renowned for his innovative use of data and AI alongside digital technologies to create uniquely human immersive sculptures and groundbreaking work and brings viewers into immersive environments using years-long experimentation with visual data of coral reefs and rainforests. I found this moment after like working with AI, a specific topic that I was trying to tell the world that we need something else. I found that nature is the most inspiring. Nature is the most intelligent thing we have. So I decided to dedicate our research to nature. So the walls of the exhibition in the perimeter is a living archive. So I call this research a large nature model. Uh, it's inspired from the large language models. All these like current tools and mid journey and so on, they are all like using a very similar uh, logic. It's trying to mimic the human intelligence. But we dedicate large nature model to the intelligence of nature. The world's first open source generative AI model focused on nature and set to include visuals, sound and scent. So this is an AI perfume. It's AI scent of tropical rainforest. The model uses information from several institutions, including the Smithsonian and London's Natural History Museum, amongst others, and was unveiled at the 54th Annual World Economic Forum in Davos. There's 135 million small molecules here. Uh, each of them represents a row of data. So we all, like, here we have half a billion images which are used in this painting. Rainforest, Anadol's most recent project, marks the longest continuous generative AI visualization on nature to date. And the installation wraps the gallery walls in AI-generated images inspired by the data of flora, fungi and fauna from over 16 rainforest locations globally. This was collected using technologies such as LIDAR and photogrammetry. Artificial realities is a sound and video experience, highlighting the vital role of coral reefs in the ocean ecosystem, and includes no less than 5 billion sourced online images. We don't want to do here something with digital art which you can experience at home in front of your screen or on your phone, but we want to do something which is more multi-sensory. Rafik has really worked here with his team and our team on an architectural intervention. He completely changed the space in one of the powder rooms where visitors can lie down and actually I was like, look at the sky, look at this coral sky, because it's not only visual, and I think it's important. Our next project is called Dataland, by the way, which you can see the name. It's an AI museum, hopefully, and opening uh, very soon in next year. And in this exhibition, we are unveiling our research, like the very fundamentals of the, 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 the new world. And I think we will be entering in this world, we will be stepping inside uh, oh, yeah. in that universe. So what kind of debate or provocative thinking would you like to move forward with this work in particular? It's not about replacing, it's not about mimicking, it's about understanding. And I do believe when it's done right, um, this AI research has a positive impact. For example, our coral research, also in the, in the World Economic Forum started last year, now 3D printed and put underwater to reconstruct what we lost. And for our um, rainforest research, we work with the Yavanawa family who lives in Amazonia in Brazil, and we raise funds for their village to make the first museum and the school for their village. There's so much we can do with AI. Anadol's vision extends beyond mere exhibition. He aims to raise awareness about environmental issues and inspire innovative solutions by blending art, technology and nature. Where do you draw your own inspiration from in terms of how we collectively as humanity are going to move forward? I think I'm really inspired by technology itself. I'm inspired by science. I think we always try to find what's going on around us, how we can translate this to like humanity. Um, so I feel that I have this responsibility in the journey because working with AI. But also I'm so fascinated by the possibilities. I think we are entering this new era and we have something intelligent that we never have before. We always have innovations in the human history, but we never have something intelligent that we can uh, think and, and co-create together. 
but that's really inspiring to me. The inspiration comes also from, you know, outside the art field. I think it's important yeah. to go into different contexts and bring the worlds together. I think we live in a world which is very fragmented, and today it's a, an important role museums can play is to bring things together, to bring different fields together, to go beyond the fear of pooling knowledge, to bring basically technology together with science, with art, you know, to not have this divide of the humanities and science and technology, but to sort of bring this together, and that's the kind of attempt we are, we are making here. Through immersive installations and experiential storytelling, Anadol demonstrates how AI can contribute to a sustainable future, encouraging visitors to rethink their connection with the natural world and with technology.